favorite. I love it. I love doing that. So I haven't played anything yet. <clears throat> Praise be the Om Messiah. Those are called servo skulls. They are simulator for main activated functions. I like this so far. Parry. Destroy the targets with your storm bolter. March! Thank you, friend. Oh, it's smooth though. God, it's smooth. Go to the next test room. Run, 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 run. Eliminate the targets with your force sword. Here. Oh, it is a stronger blow if you hold it. I'm not sure I like Q being where the sword is. Zoom in, I like. I like that. I don't know. What would I have instead Excellent. of Q? Your combat systems are operational. that do you think I'm trying to think of what I would use instead that's pretty cool that's also pretty cool wheel doesn't do anything I wonder I wonder if I switch it to wheel where is that use left weapon or middle mouse button. I might have just changed the game. It might have just been transformed. Weaver. <laughs> Look at the two of us. Look at the two of us on the same page. Thanks for the birthday stream, Jeff. I'm sitting here waiting for a big box of space dwarves to arrive. Plan on converting them into a loyalist marine army and bringing back squats to my area. Nice, man. Happy birthday to you, Killora. Been around the channel a long time. I do appreciate how you like to hang out here. That doesn't sound like a bad birthday, by the way. Um, the first actual kill will be in your honor. How about that? Uh, makes me push it, but that's still better than anything else. I don't mind shift from... Eliminate your targets by charging. Oh, you can just straight up charge him? <gasps> oh my gerb. We have detected a small problem with one of the compensators, but you may continue the tests. I get it. Destroy the targets by using your lightning strike psychic power. Oh, I just got all of them. No anomaly detected. Continue testing on the next Your arm has been injured by the explosion, as you can see on your status monitor to the right. Psy gate. Open a psychic portal with the Psy gate. As always, damage to you and your squad will be healed in this secure zone.
Use the mobile armory to equip yourself with weapons and psychic powers, as well as to check that the armory machine spirit. Ah! Uh -huh. I feel like it has to be the power fist first of all. Heal sword. Am I healed up? I feel like I'm healed up. You. Okay, I don't think there's much else I can do here. Use the portal to return to the combat zone. I like this. It's smooth. Uh, I like. I, I don't know. I'm enjoying this so far. Quite a bit. Excellent. The systems are perfectly calibrated. Perfectly calibrated. Calibrated. Now let's test your hacking system. Approach each door, then perform the requested action for each one. Air make air. Strike with your melee weapon. That's my hacking system. Do you want me to destroy this? Destroy a door. What? All right, is it done? This has been. Get to the part where I kill shit. <clears throat> I think it wants me to destroy this door. Because this one's no longer listening. Oh my god, okay. Cool, we did it! Unblock. We're hacking, boys! We're hacking the planet! John, thank you, sir. There is some interference, but we are working on it. Go to the next room. Yeah, I know. Destroy the walls by hitting them in melee to find an important relic. Destroy the walls! I think that was it over there. But... Maybe not. Destroy that! I'm a running Terminator. Where's the relic? Maybe I destroy these walls too? Middle month to find an important relic. Not a fan of the sound design? Yeah. I'll tell you what, everyone's a game critic these days. I wonder what Spacebar does though. What is that? Is that a radar or something? Alright, well, it's none, none of these, so. Oh, maybe so. Oh. I wonder if I stand in a circle! Huh. Well, what do you know? 
System operational. Continue. Crack this wall too. Yeah, I figured it out. There's just other hidden walls, I guess. I'm ready to kill shit for real, boys. Destroy this element and activate the command. Nothing to report. Carry on. Can't blow walls down by charging it though, too bad. Test your long ranged hacking system on the turret using your tactical interface and hacking. More interference. Reconfiguring. Go to the last step. I want to charge him. Can't run while zoomed in. Some damage. I wanted to kill him with other things. I wanted to charge a guy. Ah! Let's charge this guy. I can't cross this? No. Well, that'd make it hard to charge him then. Apothecaries can use their Narthesium to heal their allies. Order your brother to heal you. I need to hit W. Heal me up there, friend. I'll scan Arena. Oh, space bar. Oh. How do you... Action complete. Aim at the door and order your brother to hack it. For the resub there, friend. This is kind of stupid, so well. None of these. And this just feels weird. Uh, I don't know how I'm moving this. It's like it's with the mouse, kinda. Aim at the or aim at the door. Our dear brother, unlock at space bar. What do you do if none of the orders are to hack it? In position. The padlock? Oh, the padlock. This padlock, maybe? What padlock? What fucking padlock are you guys talking about? It's just 
says this door? Oh, the padlock on the own. Yep. You're right. I don't know what I just did to make him do that. Right click, maybe? No anomaly found. Or you just like hover over Operation it? Operation finished. Oh my god, continue. Fuck's sakes. <sighs> no, we're doing normal, for sure. I didn't think I did the tutorial, but I'm good. I guess I gl I'm glad I did. Some of you gotta chill out. Condemn this game. These words. Man. <laughs> Press metal mouth button to start your mission. <laughs> this is Grand Master Belial, addressing all warriors of the First Company. Forged from countless ships in the seething forces of warp space, a space hulk has been deposited here by the uncaring tides of the Immaterium. I have dubbed this drifting lair of abominations Olethros. A hive swarm of tyranids already besets the system. So while the honored warriors of the Death Wing embark upon the purging of this Space Hulk, our brothers shall assist the Astra Militarum and Imperial Navy in destroying this tendril of the Great Devourer. Devourer. The of the assault belongs to an epistolary of the Librarian, a deadly battle psyker of the chapter. Leading a specially assembled squad, the Librarian will investigate abnormal orbit returns and psychic emanations from within the Space Hulk. That's us! But why are we blue? Premonitions. The ether gifts me visions. I see a threat far more deadly than gene hungry tyrants. A scream. A dark promise. A ship in the shadow. A relic from our secret past. I feel the tightness in my gut as I see a cataclysm as yet unseen. Ooh. The Umbra Mortalis descends upon us. The shadow of death. Brothers, the first scans of the Space Hulk have revealed a dark angel ship that dates back to the Age of Heresy. It is located in the heart of the Olethros Space Hulk. This ship from our ancestors seems to be protected by a mysterious energy field. Teleportation to the ship is currently impossible. The only way to reach it is through the main mass of the Space Hulk. Reaching this ship is your primary concern. Trust your battle brothers to deal with the rest of the Olethros. Bellis, come on! Retribution is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliban. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death. It's a lot of terminators. Our enemies in there. shall fall. That does not look like drop pods very much. I guess they're not drop pods though. Oh, sick! You're in the fucking torpedo. I shall call you Marty, and you are Petri. Marty and Petri. May you forever serve the Emperor. There's a head floating in this. Whoa! Whoa! I hope we slam into the fucking wall, bro. Those are boring torpedoes. They're shaped like a penis because they penetrate hard surfaces. That was rather quiet. Brother Librarian, 
the initial boarding strike is proceeding, but we have lost contact with Squad Gideon. What? Your sensorium should receive Gideon's beacon signal, though it will be weak. We need Squad Gideon to secure the breaching zone. Locate them as quickly as possible. When you're successful, proceed to secure the landing area to establish the full bridge. Isn't that exactly what this is? Praise the lion. I believe that's exactly what this game is. So what are you saying? Spasmarians. Spasmarians! You are a nerd. What was your first hint that that might be the case? Oh, we're doing pow fists? That's all I got! I can't do anything, else. Is that just a random guy saying a random thing? Just need to make sure. Because if I'm under the wrong section, I'm going to be pretty bad. Was that 50 Dara? Oh, oh, 50 Dara! Thank you very much. Oh, you have to retrieve the equipment. What's our viewership at again, guys, by the way? Because of the new dashboard, I can't see anything. I can't see how many people are watching. Doesn't matter if it's five or ten or a hundred, but it's nice to know. Fuck yeah, let's do it! <clears throat> yeah! Waypoint reached. 420? Dank. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let me uh, update a couple of you guys on if you're not up to snuff with the 40k lore what a Space Hulk is, because I actually think it's pretty super awesome. A Space Hulk in 40k lore is when multiple ships, space stations, uh, asteroids, just space junk, basically get compressed together um, and just float around in outer space. But they are usually, when a, when a Space Hulk shows up, they are massive beyond imagination massive not like the size of a planet per se but that would be about the scale you use to kind of describe some of them now obviously space hulks range in size but a lot of the times they get mega epic because everything's big grim and dark in the uh 40, future um when you board them and stuff like that you're basically boarding a gigantic space station but it's made up of ships that have been compressed together so it's really cool lore. So, for instance, in this, what they're talking about is the reason Dark Angel uh, Terminators, the Deathwing, are going in here to investigate this is A, because they want to purge the Xenos, obviously, but B, they're after their relics, they're after their past. The, the Deathwing, uh, well, the Death, the Dark Angel, excuse me, their lore is that they are most likely loyalist space marines, but they've kind of secluded themselves away from the Imperium. They still involve themselves sometimes, but for the most part, they're trying to redeem themselves because in the heresy era, basically half their chapter became what is known as the Fallen, which is they went, uh, it's not really fair to say they, they were, they, cause they didn't fight with Horus per se. They're just like, they're tainted by the warp kind of, they're influenced by the warp. They are perhaps bad guys, but the whole overarching theme behind Dark Angels is you don't fucking know. You don't know if they're good. You don't know if they're bad. You don't know if they if they uh, are serving mankind or if they're serving the entities in the warp. They're just another. They're just out there. They're abominations, or they are the purest of the good. They're so good that they are self. Con they're concerned with cleaning out their own uh, legion, essentially. <clears throat> Could I bench a space marine? Yeah, absolutely. Probably like six, if you think about it. They're only like nine feet tall, and each of them probably weigh over four or five hundred pounds. But yeah, I could probably bench press, I would say about 17 of them, stacked on top of each other. Uh, and in these Space Hulks, by the way, they're very famously infested by Gene Steelers, and the reason for that is because the way Gene Steelers get around, think of Gene Steelers as 
the absolute immigration nightmare. And most of 40K is a satire on modern society, by the way. Um, a lot of the elements of their evil and what's bad and stuff like that is like a is a bastardization of what we commonly fear even now. Um, so gene stealers get to planets as the vanguard force of Terranids and infiltrators, and they get in there and they uh, they actually like they they're called gene stealers because they literally infest the um, like the gene pool of who they're going after. Uh, and that, we're getting into Gene Stealer cult territory, but all you need to know is that they are, like, the independent actors, they're vanguard, um, they are, like, semi, they're, they're a little bit more sentient, they can act independently, but most likely they're being controlled by a patriarch or broodlord in the area. I'll stop with this history lesson in a second here, but the, 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 the reason there's Gene Stealers on this spaceship is because... They will infiltrate into spaceships, they'll infiltrate into asteroids and stuff like that, and they'll act as a virus basically being carried to a planet, then they'll come off of that. Or they'll do what's called, uh, they'll give someone a Gene Seer kiss, which is where they they cram their Gene Seer taint into someone's DNA. That person will act as like a flare for the, uh, the, um, the high fleet that's coming out behind it, but also that person will eventually become sick and uh, I believe they actually the, this is the part that they haven't they've, they've said this but it's kind of interesting this is how they, they gene stealers like turn the person into basically like a, a mama carrying gene stealer DNA but if you do it to a man I don't know what that's supposed to do maybe if they I don't know but what they do do is they, they carry they, they act as like a, a beacon to the rest of the fleet Wherever they go, the fleet's, like, got a, a trail on them or something like that. Yeah, you can hear Bears and Snoring. So, anyways. Hey, by the way, thanks for that sub. I do appreciate it. I'll stop, and if you guys have more questions, let me know. But that's kind of the gist of what's going on here. Terminators are... Amazing. Brother Librarian, command Barathiel to follow you. He will protect your back. Follow. See? So... We start seeking for Gideon's work. Okay, We're I think the way it works Gideon's is you just... Beacon channel to you. <clears throat> Swift vengeance. You, uh, target it. So, like, whatever I go on the wheel, and then when I leave, that is the order. I don't have to click it or anything like that. I wonder how much... Is there, like, ammo and loot on the ground kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? I do like that there's a mission objective right there. Guys, a blue box over here! It could be something. Oh, we can't get to it. I'm a... I'm not a 100%er. Like, I won't play a game and be like, I must do everything! All the objectives. I'm not like that. But I am a loot whore. Or as the British would say, I'm a loot whore. Meaning, if there's fucking secret weapons and stuff like that, I will find you. Like this. This is probably something. I'm hacking it now, team! I've hacked it. It has been hacked. We're blocked. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> I did not expect that. <coughs> In the grim dark future, most doors can be opened with a power fist. It's important to note. Marty? It. You scary motherfucker, Marty. Fucking floating head. I'm hacking it now, boys! This should be in here in no time at all! Oh. Let me try my other key. I know the objective's behind me, I just... Like I said, I... I just check shit out. Kind of get the sense that we do this, then go here. Let's see if I'm wrong. Did I just walk through that guy? Totally fair. That will happen. Walking through people. There's Petrie. Marty and Petrie are joining us on this mission. Let me just skip that part. And do that.
I think I'm locking the door so they can't get through. Well, maybe, but then I punch it and then I punch it to wall. Somebody killed these poor fucking Adeptus Mechanicus fools. The sense I shall read everything. <clears throat> the Sensorium have protected a vessel belonging to the ancient time of the Legions of Starte and the Mechanica. Indications are that it is in good condition. We must reach this vessel. It is likely to contain ancient machines, data, and relics. Securing these treasures is an absolute purity. Alert! To conclude, the Omnithia knows all and comprehends all. Very good. Alright. You had the old spaceman. We have to find these relics. Seemed like a perilous step. A perilous step. We can't go here. I have surmised that we cannot go this way. Jebediah, your lone cloth Suggests you remember to be of tremendous length. He has no comment. Here. Retrieve the retrieve Gideon. Maybe I could punch through this. Probably not. Can't have co-op. Yeah, it's multiplayer. I don't know if I, if the campaign is co-op. I'm, I'm gonna stream today alone, but I am enjoying this. So I think after this, I will stream with subs. Uh, Total Bisco wanted to play it next week. I think if we do. Gentlemen, this could take a while. Please have a biscuit. <laughs> nope. Obviously, it doesn't open. Silly door mechanism. We don't use door mechanisms, we punch at the wall! Okay, we're gonna fight over there for sure. Again, I'm just checking over here to be thorough. But I do oh. What are you? Is that a person? Petri? Well, these are just the shadows playing tricks on me. Oh, so I guess we will go up here and check then. Game runs pretty smoothly. Hopefully it's being streamed smoothly on your end, because for me it's been pretty great. Well, I mean, this is the same thing with Dawn of War 3 that some people are really upset. Like, listen. Is that what a bolter sounds like? No. You know what a bolter is? It's a mini rocket launcher. It shoots explosive armor-piercing shells that are each, like, individually very carefully made. Yeah, this is nothing. That's, that's a little bit silly, but this whole thing over here is absolutely nothing. Check over here, but so far, every single time we take an alternate route, it doesn't do anything. He can't run forever, by the way. He stops running, so... Is there an energy bar? Let me see. Oh! It might be on that right side. So punching doesn't take energy. Oh, shit. Did I just punch a Petri? But running does. See that on the blue over there? Okay. Yeah, we're fighting in here, boys. Never been more sure of something in my life. Chain Stealers! I know you're in here, we're gonna fight, but like, you don't have to, we could be coming in peace. Oh, I saw that. Dude, dude, get over here. I fucking saw a Chain Stealer over there. No, don't get, yeah, stay here. Stay the fuck here, listen. 
Tell you to follow me. Tell you to follow me. There's fucking jeans stones up there, dude. They're up in the top. They're like listening to everything we do. Hey! I fart glitter! Welcome to Chat Utopia. It's so nice to finally have someone else that farts glitter. Here. Because I too fart glitter. Get in! Get in, we're coming for you! Oh, I already came this way. Hang on. Oh boy! Hell on. Oh god, they've made babies into statues! They fucking did it. Little cherubs. Oh. That's how you block with a power fist. Alright, that is an actual gene stealer head. So there are probably gene stealers here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm seeing a lot of evidence of Gene Stealers. Let's just go this way. Probably all dead. Okay. I know what you're thinking. It looks fresh. It looks bloody. It's not. Okay. Gene Stealers can die and stay around for a long time. It's actually known in the. Oh, okay. Yep. They've really made a mess here. Is that. Someone's brain is stuck to the wall, or ceiling, excuse me, it's kind of weird. Seems to have been some disagreement. I'm gonna punch the wall, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. I'm gonna be punching a lot of walls, guys, because I feel like that is the sole mechanism for how we have hidden rooms in this game. Alright, I did... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw something else over there. Watch your step. Someone spilled what looks to be a jam of some sort. Maybe a marmalade. Alright, there's still some mess here. Uh, we do have bullet casings. I'm gonna need CSI on this. Jared, that's you. Get over here. Let's see if I have a CSI thing. I do not. Have you follow. I'm just gonna do this without CSI. I think there's something going on here. Okay, still some gore. A little bit of a computer we can't use because we're in Terminator armor. So, if you'll notice, this is my hand. I can't type anything. Do you see my fist? Oh, it just got dark. Uh oh. Ugh. My press in power lets me see the prediction of the future. Alright guys. You know when my eyes roll back and I start humming to myself and it's not when I'm orgasming? Yeah, I just saw the future again, so there's... there's gonna be a statue up here. Probably something bad. Okay. Lots of gene stealer limbs. A lot of the limbs going on here. Tech adepts. Okay, we do have a foot. Chancers do have feet. Pretty consistent with the lore. And I have all but lost sight of the objective now. Uh, wait. Okay. These fucking servo skulls, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I might blow up, I don't know. A lot of light down here. I'm gonna go down here and probably kick off a sequence of some sort. So, you can, so again, just as a reminder, this is my fist. Okay. Don't make me use it. Just kidding. You know what I mean? Okay, proceeding forward. It's a door. Should I use this? Just kidding. That's silly. Let's fucking punch the wall. Punch through the door. You can hack, but why would you? You know what I'm saying? Oh, the relic sound. I walked past one. You're right, it makes a buzz. It makes a wobble wobble. He's not wrong, guys. 
I'm getting closer. Where is the relic? Is it over here? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Minor relic. Barely worth it. Oh, Gideon's back there. <gasps> Let's go up here then. How do we open doors, guys? We punch through the wall. Try to keep up, boys. You're doing great. Never mind. I don't have a lot of energy to run all over the place. So really, you're just looking for relics. <coughs> Probably should head back towards the objective. Okay, that's almost certainly a fight. Let's get Gideon. I can tell we're getting dangerously close to something happening here. Alright. Just check the Steam page. Ouch, that's a shitty release, he says. Well, thank God you're here watching with me where it's an excellent release. Because we're having a great time. That's the big bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Okay. We're just heading towards Gideon. Got to retrieve, you know what I'm gonna do? Watch this, I'm gonna go fucking tactical. I'm a scan. And... I can't hack it. Hopefully this doesn't shoot us. It does. Okay, well that was stupid. <sighs> Fucking yeah. All right. Gideon, 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 we're coming for you, Gideon. Motherfucking Gideon is behind this door. Do we fucking punch the door? Of course we do. that door. <clears throat> We're getting so close. <clears throat> oh! Brothers, I hear the claws of the Zenos. Is that you shaking your leg on the floor because it's vibrating something fierce? this wall. Cover me. I'm gonna punch this door real quick. I know we're supposed to go that other way, but I just want to take a peek over here. In case there's some kind of battle to be had that doesn't seem like there is. Oh, wait. We hear a relic! God! Damn it, Petri! Can we just get the fight underway? All these minor relics. That's gonna kill me if those. if you like spin them. Well! I'm just gonna say what happened to my body. Oh, that door took two punches. It was a resistor. All right, <clears throat> we're most certainly gonna fight in here. <clears throat> I like being that weird guy in the window. My neighbors most certainly consider me. Are we finally getting some fighting? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. towards Gideon, even though over there is most certainly where the fight will come as well. 
I punch in the wall. That's how we'll do it. I block. I block, I punch. I I block, I punch. None of which requires energy. Bop, bop. I wonder if we can punch through this. Bop, bop. The answer is yes. Is that Gideon? Because this place got fucked up. In fact, that's Terminator. That's Terminator. Fortunately, my fears were well founded. May their shades fight on for the land. An apothecary team is going to retrieve their Prothenite lands once the bridgehead is established. They will live on in honor. I have an anomalous signal return. Verify it first. Make sure I have my fist before the fight. Alright. I'll do the best I can. Here we go. <clears throat> There's been... Just an absolute mess here. I'll tell you what. Everything is bloody. That's like one room? Sure. But all the rooms? Jeez Louise. <laughs> Basically, I put that door out of its misery. My job is super scary. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump. My job is super scary. Dump, dump. Ooh. <coughs> okay. Can I equip that? Just gonna destroy it. I assume I could actually take it over. What is that? What are these floating things? Sensorium is showing multiple returns in your area. Stay vigilant. You heard the man. Stay vigilant. I assume when the Jesus come, they're just gonna be all around us. Like you're. Spooky. Does anybody else's aimer reticuli kind of wander a little bit? No, you stay behind me, bitch. Hey! This is where we do it. This has to be where we do it. Or it's not, and we never actually fight. That's the irony of this game. What is our mission now? Oh my god, we actually have use. Fucking servo skulls, man. Seriously. What is our mission? Oh god, it's that one. Really drawing out the suspense here. But absolutely everything is covered in blood, so it's like, how suspenseful can this really be? I do kind of like the beep, the bleeping radar. It's playing off of aliens, which 40k was inspired by a lot of things. Uh, as is all sci fi. I was a librarian, though. Or, uh... Yeah, it should have been. He had the staff. Got his chest ripped out. I like the decorations. Ooh. Oh, and it's just a jeans there back. Why are we checking the fan?
Oh, fuck you, motherfucker! Okay. I should have saved that. Actually, I have a lightning attack again. We activate the defense grid at any cost. Our foes approach quickly. We must reactivate local defensive systems to secure the bridge. Is that it? Oh, you know what? You gotta heal. Action complete. Is he still hurting? Kind of shows that he's hurting. Yo! We are receiving strange signal echoes. I don't know. I that that would be... Oh, it's actually you that's got to be healed. My bad, dog. Oh! Well, walking into the business end of an auto cannon is not the best. I like their eyes. You just gotta spam the fuck out of your psyche abilities, man. They're pretty good! Pretty good! Alright. Starting to get a handle on this. I think they just spawn out of that spot. So now we just have to do these objectives. If you guys are having a good time, make sure to subscribe, by the way. We'll be doing a lot of awesome and fun content, but... Gotta get that support in there, boys! If we can. Gets you awesome emoticons. Gets you access to my VODs. All that good stuff, though. Subs. I will also play this game with subs, by the way. Reload, man. Alright. I mean, I guess. They're gonna come out of our side here. I really like how when you zoom in, the way they look, it's pretty cool. I wonder what a Psygate would do. I think a Psygate's just like... Sequential. Like, now you use a Psygate. Type of thing. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a future reading view sub for sure, man. It's upon request now. If you want one, you can ask for it and you'll get it, bro. Okay, the blue boxes do blow up. Front loose wire. Bump, 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 bump. That's my fist. Here they come. That one's different. about right. Jesus, do go down pretty quick.
until they don't. I might have to go down that. So four above Psychic, because that's what you use to use it. Bro! Alright, I thought that you let him walk up on us, and I was like, Bro, come on! But he didn't. This is not the way. I was gonna check this. Fucking lightning hands doesn't mess around! Let me check the alt tab here real quick. Got a couple of Skype messages. Ooh. Blizzard just gave me a bunch, a bunch of Stukov keys that I will give away in my next stream, which is awesome. Very cool. <laughs> okay. One second. Streamlabs might be down here, which is super fun. It's not fun at all. There we go. I want to see who donated. Citro, of course. Should have expected that. Thank you so much, man. Demon, by the way, I missed you. You were the sub. Thank you. Fir uh, first Firehead, also sub. Just now, it says. Welcome to Chat Utopia. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for all the support. Um, if you're just new to the channel, <clears throat> make sure and click that follow button if that's something that's interesting to you. Fist of Jeans there for you. I'll try, Nayrol. I'll try. Two months in a row using that Twitch Prime Submarino. I do appreciate it, man. Alright. Just gotta activate that generator. Am I gonna play Stukov myself? I might. They put a lot of work into it, so it's pretty cool. I don't usually do that stuff, but... <laughs> Where did the fire come from? Okay, their death animations are pretty cool. Their death animations are pretty cool. I find it hard to see use for uh, blocking, basically. When would you ever block? Swerk! Or however you say your name. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Chai Utopia! I thought that might be a secret room. It was not. See, it's a game of attrition. Oh, there's a relic over here. Ooh. Oh, Is there a way to equip that now? Is there a way to equip that now? I have zero available. Awesome. I don't think there's any way to equip that now. Nope. Is 
there a way to equip that mural? You'll block later with bigger things come. Okay. Jodrell Mark! Oh, shit! You guys just showed right up! This is fun. That's what the side gate does, I think. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Got a portal to equip. Okay, cool. Will do, bro. This way, guys. Let's run for it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We should hack this door. <coughs> and by hack, you got me punch. Mother, get back! Does just become a little because they run. Oh god! They run. It's kind of cool because they, they are supposed to be a little bit bug inspired, but they run very straightforward. So you basically pick a pick a line, and you shoot in that this line, and that pod of of you know whatever you want to call it. Wait. The pod or whatever, they will show up in that line. Here they come. There's probably another one. So that's a little bit. Eh. But this game has loot, so it instantly becomes one of my favorite things of all time. Like, I can hear this relic, and it's it's just all I want. It's everything I want in life right now. It's over there. So I'm not even going to activate that yet. Because I want this relic so bad. Let's go over there and get that relic. I'm not going to heal. Not yet. Is it just laying on the floor over here? There it is. They look cool though, I do like that. A lot of games really fuck up Tyranids. <clears throat> they make them look really cartoony or just dumb, very buggy. I even like the way these guys are moving. And geniuses are meant to be like, obviously if you place the higher difficulty, what my hope is, the depiction of this is like, if you shoot them they die, but if they hit you, you're very, mu you're very much so maybe dead. Like it's like a three hitter thing. Which obviously would be too savage at normal difficulty, but higher up I hope it is like that. Because that is what a gene stealer is. Their claws are rending. They, on a six, are meant to just basically kill anything. Basically. Obviously not literally, but... Okay, so that's activated. What is that sound? The activation of the generators has woken a dormant gene stealer spirit. It's time to establish the bridge head to allow the main force to breach. Go to your assigned battle zone with your command squad. Where are they coming in? Holy fuck. But see, they're all gonna come in through here, so it's just like, oh no. Okay, I should say that. I wonder what those ones do with the bulbous back. Holy fuck! Motherfucker. Well, 
They jump from. Oh shit! He actually clawed my ankle. I like the objectives. I like that they show up on the map. So I'm not spending a lot of time like backtracking and going different places, which you still can if you want to find all the relics and stuff, which I do. And I like the mechanic of you're a librarian, so you can like hear the warp whispering to you when you're near him. That's a cool way to explain that. Uh, Zents, yeah, I actually explained the Space Hulk earlier. For your favor, the, the short end of it is just that a Space Hulk is a bunch of spaceship and space debris compressed together. I like the controls being classic FPS computer controls, WASD. Like I was saying, I didn't like that Melee was, was Q, that's very awkward for me. Maybe for other people it's normal. So I change it to middle mouse. I don't mind shit. I don't mind control. Did I fucking kill them? Oh my god, this servo's full. What's up, Bears? What do we got, bud? What did you bring over here? Uh, no worries. You don't have to apologize for missing the first expl explanation. But, <clears throat> you know. If you subscribe to the channel, you can watch everything you miss. <laughs> He's thought of everything. I feel like this is a another path to the exact same place. So far there hasn't been a lot of that way. I like that it seems like you have infinite ammo, which I think you do. If you weren't going to have infinite ammo, you have to have a way... It's hard to explain lore-wise how they would find more boulders. That's just a different style of art. The same guy. We actually can't go this way, I guess? I hope there's a dreadnought in here somewhere. That'd be cool to see. Shooting your ankles. You guys can help, you know. It's totally fine. Fucking dudes behind me are just like, nah, you got this. Why that hurt? Is that me? No, it's not me. I feel like that should turn more red if I'm actually... You know what, though? Let's not leave it to chance, I guess. Let's make sure we're okay. You know what? We haven't done this. Let's just try it. <clears throat> See if we can equip that gun. Maybe it's just like a straight-up better bolter. That's what it looked like. Oh, you even heal when you do that. Oh. I like this mechanic. This is cool. Uh, wow. I thought I got... was it that I got? Just another storm bolter? You know 
what I mean? You saw me get that item. I thought it was another bolter. I guess not. That is how you heal, though. Or it does heal you, rather. I like how they keep saying where the angels of death. Badass! Oh, it makes you unlock it after the mission's over. Okay, thank you. Got it! You got it. Let's see. Maybe the minor relics build up to... That's like your currency or something. I don't know. Back it up, boys. We'll funnel them right here. I know there's a radar right there that kind of shows us the way. I'm looking at it a little bit. <coughs> Is this actually the right way? You are backtracking. This is not. Yeah, I guess you're right. Is what it is now, mates. It says I'm getting closer. There's some aliens, some gene stealers over there. We're getting closer to the bridge. I'm just doing the campaign right now. Oh, they are right behind us. Nope, they're all around us. Holy fuck. It's like a... It's a pretty good looking game. But in the fights, um, you can kind of tell what's going on, but you can also kind of not tell what's going on at all. Which, in a game like this, is just kind of bound to happen anyways. And obviously, if you have a computer like twice as good as mine, Helio Shadow, by the way, thank you for the resub. 20 months, friend. It's a long time. Now we already did that. Um, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. That's really bad, man. Tough crowd out there in the Warhammer universe, I'll tell you that right now. I'm having fun. <laughs> Looks really choppy in the fights. It is a little bit choppy, yes. But part of that is also that my, you know, well, I don't know. I'm actually running a pretty beastie computer, but like, Total Biscuit or JP on their computer will have no problems. Just put it that way. I could lower the graphics and probably have no problems too, but who would ever do that? I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know. Is this game of the year for me? No, obviously not. But... Oh, um, I'm like reading all these comments be like, this is terrible. It's like, nope, it's not actually. It's objectively not terrible. Good looking game. It's fairly true to lore. I'm 
shooting aliens with a machine gun. Um, obviously, if the campaign's like 70 hours and this is all you do. By the way, DZF, thank you for the sub there, friend. Um, then, yeah, I, I would then elevate this to terrible. But I'm, for right now, I'm a couple hours in, I'm having fun. a game like this and they're just like, I hate this. This is terrible. I think they just keep coming. to the lion. That's their primark. Lion L. Johnson. Absolutely. It's better. Where do you... Where do you even come from, dude? Now we just fight here. Oh, he fell. Now this is kind of dumb. Operation that was a little bit dumb because it was just like, shoot in a spot forever, you know. Spam heal. You actually won't reload while you're doing that. Which is kind of interesting. I do like if you lose a guy, he doesn't come back. It's, it seems rather beastly. My phone's going crazy right now. Right here in a second. See, I can't, you can't see what's happening there. That's just kind of lame. The apothecary! Don't give a damn. Oh 
shit. Oh, and I like that they can come from both languages. But I like how you like literally are shooting limbs off of them and stuff, that's pretty cool. Oh. Get in here, dude. This is gonna be the easiest place in the world to hold. The loot's cool but infrequent. Oh actually you gotta heal yourself, bro. Thanks for the sub there, Clayman. Welcome to Chinese Topia, man. Where we shoot alien! Shit! I mean, like I said, the nature of this game is going to be that in those sequences, it is hard. Can't really tell. Um, you can kind of tell what's going on. There's just going to be a lot of, like, back into a corner, like, you know, and it's, restart, get out of here. Toy, door's destroyed, hack. Or, oh, no, it's perfect. Flat in the pale, hulking plates of their tactical dreadnought armor. The veteran warriors of the Deathwing march unflinching into the fires of war. They would advance willingly into the very maw of the warp itself were they ordered to do so. Codex 306. <laughs> Anubis, thank you. Thank you for the donation, friend. That's really kind of you. Killed 246 gene stealers. Relics found 100%, though. That's actually kind of cool. Because I don't necessarily go for that. Oh my god. Get an assault cannon. Number four. Okay, so what do these do? Wow. All unspent points will be lost forever. Oh, okay. Ten percent armor. I mean, one there, one there, I guess. Teleports into the enemy, making them explode. Ah. All of that's good. Let me do the psychic one. Oh, so we just... Oh, okay. Oh, and there's points in between. I see. So doing those is a little bit silly. That's alright. Gets me closer to using these. So not great. The but I'm kind of showing off everything, which I think is okay. The space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been <laughs> slain, we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted. Get a more Daka shooter, and that will be the assault cannon, my this friend, for sure. Enigmatic vessel from our dark Absolutely. and past. The Deathwing moved to secure entry into the old ship, while we overcame the energy and psychic defenses created by the Gene Stealers. Hard fought was the battle, but the bridgehead had been established, and progress to our objectives continued. We. Are the Emperor's blade. Emperor! Emperor! Okay. Balanton, I will remember that. Try to remember to equip stuff. We have encountered gene stealer hybrids armed with ranged weaponry. 
They're launching counterattacks against the perimeter, threatening the integrity of the landing zone on the Alephos. Looking at our scan data, the Tellarines have advised that the hybrids may be able to sever the ship where our squads are currently located, to propel it into the gravity well of the nearby planet. To prevent this, we must disable the propulsion system in this sector. If the enemy succeed, we will be forced to withdraw and return in another costly breaching assault. I have a he Precious heretic time and lives will be chat? wasted. Well, the Emperor what if I told you failure. I am a heretic? Ha ha ha! Where can I find more Warhammer games? Played Battlefleet Gothic and wonder where I can find different Warhammer games. Um, honestly, the list of games you should try out is pretty short. There is Space Space Marine for Xbox, I want to say, was that 360? It's not Xbox One, I don't think. I think 360. So check that out. That's a pretty okay game, and I think it's on the PC, but don't quote me on that. And then Dawn of War 1 and 2, if you can stand a very old uh, RTS. After that, it's Battlefleet Gothic, and if you like Warhammer Fantasy, uh, Total War Warhammer is pretty good, too. But that's like it. Oops. Oh, let's see the Beast area. That's it. We have faced the Gene Stealer. Nope. Oh, yeah, okay, so here's where we get to load up. Cool. That's all we get so far, but that's pretty cool. Uh, should I try out the mace just for you guys? Actually, there are stats here. And it is exactly the same. So guys, guess what? Whenever a game does that, I am not a fan. When you have weapons that are basically just reskins and they're exactly the same thing, not a super big fan. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it's like, no, Jeff, one's totally faster than the other. But look at the stat line. Speed, same. Damage bonus, same. Damage, same. Anti-armor. More or less the same. Whereas Stormbolter... Assault Cannon. Stormbolter... Assault Cannon. So only one more damage. Fire rate is higher. Accuracy is obviously way down. Recoil is higher. Right, reliability is worse, but the clip size is a lot more. Fire Warrior. I never played it, but a lot of people actually say they liked it. Actually, one of my friends that's a competitive Warhammer player got into Warhammer because of Tau Fire Warrior. Actually, and Vermintide must be pretty good too. Mace is way better. Alright, we'll try out the mace. We'll just try out the mace uh, purely for you guys. Reloads just as fast. That too should be lower. If you're going to have a 400 clip, the reload should be a lot lower or f uh, slower or something like that. There should be some risk to reward there. So those are a couple of things I would change. I, you want you want weapons to be very different, not reskinnings of the same things. Just play already. <laughs> uh, actually, for you, Pascals, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, guys. And while I'm using the bathroom, Pascals, I want you to picture me having sex with your mom. I'm gonna be having sex with your mom here, mind. I was going to stream right now, but I'm going to get some water and say hi to my wife. He was like, just play the game!
All right, <laughs> I think I'm about ready to play some more games. You know what? Let me just stretch here. Check it out for a second. All right, let's play some more. The mace looks cool. What is that? It's like a glowy stone thing. Aesthetically, the game's very pleasing. But like I said, the, the big fights get a little bit messy. Ooh, spaceship. We have to quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing can be done hastily and prudently from Nandia. Joe answers an apothecary. You talking smack, Brett? Wonder how many chapters there are. Ooh. Oh, it's a sentinel. Kind of. It looks like a sentinel. Oh, it is a reskin. The mace is a pre-order skin for the Power Fist. Don't forget your side power. Shit, you're right. I will literally go back and reload that. Because you're right. I did forget that. Oh, there it is. All right, thank you, thank you for the reminder. Appreciate that. Cargo Sentinel. Remember, you have limited uses on your side gate. Okay, I did not know that either. Honestly, I think I need you know. Oh, there's two above. Okay, so we have two more. Oh shit. Oh, this has some spin up time, so that's kind of the downside to it. But man, once you start shooting. Once you start shooting, it sh the fun. The fun never stops. Make sure and subscribe if you guys are about that life, by the way. Usually when I play games, I don't have to say anything, but. You Warhammer people are finicky. Oh! There's some cultists. Oh, you died. Shit, the weapon actually jams. Coming out of a small tube against a guy with an assault cannon, probably not the best. Can't go through there. There's some taco stuff. Thank you, friend. Appreciate it. Welcome to Chaitopia. Oh, you shot a fucking rocket. And a bit. <laughs> wait, wait. What is that? Oh, just a sweatshirt. Weapon will literally jam, that's kinda cool. Uh what I was gonna say though is I actually did not pre-order this game, so. Oh that I just took that right in the head. Cybold or sighted. Is that what he said? Zeno sighted. It had to be Zeno. Oh, I haven't used my psychic power yet. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh my gerb! <laughs> oh, the cooldown on that is a lot slower. That makes sense, because that's a really powerful ability. That seems like the kind of, you know lane clearing ability. I like that they're missing a bunch that's very in the fluff. Cultists don't have the best name. Let me 
almost a cannon. Not the best gun to shoot at a range. So I'm actually almost wondering. Okay, so this is where I'm starting to learn that maybe that diversity I was hoping for is happening. Range on that's not the best. Okay, cool. Oh shit. Turn around, it's behind you! Came from behind! Oh, and the gun gets hot, too. I'm hurt again. This gun sucks at killing people at range, which is good. It's an inaccurate auto cannon. It should. Let's see if I should just bum rush him. Oh shit. I like the cultists. Again, they like miss quite a bit, but they'll also hit you. Adds a bit of a different flavor. I haven't found a relic yet. Only failed at once, but then... The fact that it can fail is kind of fun. My lord! Shouldn't have walked out of here. <laughs> you guys see his face? This gun, though. Oh, it goes in a straight line. I don't know if you can reload the heals or you just have a finite number per mission. That would be an interesting way to see the difficulty rise and fall as well. I know that you heal when you go back into the warp gate, but you also need a relatively calm to do that. Or not warp gate, but a side gate. Alright, let's head towards the objective. It's right there. We located the ancient Dark Angel's ship in the heart of the Space Hulk. After like finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, <clears throat> we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted investigations. We fought a horde of Xenos! We didn't hear that again. 
Have fun, babe. He gets his charges back when you use the side gate. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know the auto turret was hitting me. Then. We have encountered gene stealer hybrids armed with ranged weaponry. They're launching counterattacks against the perimeter, threatening the integrity of the landing zone on the Alethros. Five relics. Looking on this at map. us to prevent this, if the enemy's precious. All right. Well, this time we don't waste the side gate. I guess. I like that it makes you start the whole thing over again. I almost wonder if I do like. This is gonna sound terrible, but. Storm Bolter might be better because the accuracy is so much better at dealing with these guys. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The psychic power is the guy. I do like how you can only have three psychic powers. Maybe you can unlock another spot, but... You fight close range. Yeah, uh, except the range guys are the ones that I have trouble with. And the thing is, at close range, yeah, the assault cannon's better. But not, in my opinion, so much better. This still gets the job done. I don't know, man. Quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Oh, four sword the benefits the side powers? Okay, I'll do that next time. So answers an apothecary. Shentinel. Let's see, we didn't go over here last time. Grenades. Don't make me laugh. I feel like this is a, probably going to be an exactly duplicate path, you know, which seems to be a bunch of them in this game where multiple routes just take you to the same place. They don't necessarily give, like there are two pathways that lead to the same room, so it's, to me, it's just kind of lazy. Yeah, I can already see this is way better, in my opinion. When fighting cultists, at least. Obviously, if you were like, in this mission, you will only fight Genesters, and yes. The auto cannon would be better. But I can strafe, so I'm going to take little to no damage there. I don't know. I'm sure someone's going to be like, no, Jack, you're wrong. It's not as good. It's fine. To me, it's this is like night and day. Way better. Phoenix Sniper, thanks for the auto host. And each time I did ask for a sub, by the way, somebody did sub, so I do appreciate it, guys. I hate asking for subs, but I, you know, every once in a while on the stream, I have to just be like, hey, guys, if you, if you have the means, please consider it. If you have that Twitch Prime sub, I would love it if you'd use on me. Oh, shit! Shit! What are you shooting at? I'm doing okay. Are you guys okay? At least you're right. Frame rate is a little bit choppy. Lock that door behind you. Does that actually help? It's cool. That stop gene sewers from coming through there. I guess that's probably going to be a pretty big part of the game. Otherwise, they just keep coming. Is that a guy? So. That is not. I 
I like this. I, I actually like the sounds. Operation finished. I like that they limit your side gates, otherwise that would be completely broken, obviously. I wonder if that's also an autosave, because that would be a cool function, too. I think I did go this way last time. Yeah, that's a guy there. Warning, this That's really good. Oh my god, that's good. It goes on forever. Dude. Shit! Oh, there's a turret above me. I gotta get in the habit of doing this, and then I scan. I could hack it actually. That'd be kinda cool. That'd be a lot better. I mean it's mine to help them. Missile launcher sus. Okay, so that's cool if there are bad guys there. I wish it just took it over for you. That'd be the best. But it don't. What it did. What it did. I can blow up. Motherfucking Tavistos. You guys want to get in here and help? Close that door now. Oh shit, okay, so we're gonna run in here and heal. Oh, he died! Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I meant to just say it. it doesn't matter. I think we can heal if we go in here, but does our guy come back? Kind of looks like he does. So that would make sense. That would be how you bring him back. So I'll switch to the four sword. I bet you, I bet you relic points get you, uh, or relics get you more points to spend on leveling and stuff. How's the game so far? It's pretty cool. Yeah, he is back. Where the fuck? Bro. Get in here. Get in here so I can close the door. Oh, you.
<laughs> that was pretty cool. Alright, there's a barrel. Alright. Back to this last time. Let's fucking go ahead and scan. Destroy that. Thank you. Excuse me. He's the reset there, dude. Heavy stopper detected. They killed me last time. And I gotta find these relics, man. That's pretty sick. Oh, shit! doing I like that if you do those powers, he doesn't reload at the same time. That's really cool. That's so fucking 40k. It basically just talks about how there's a boss. <laughs> Which is cool. Fire ability. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that was a good. That was a good use of the fire ability. That just killed a bunch. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. So yeah, it gets a little bit choppy, but uh, not so much so. For how good looking this game is and how much you have going on, I think they did a pretty damn good job. Fuck. 
again. Still, you have to tell him to heal himself. It's like, what do you think I want you to do, man? You have to activate and destroy. This place. Is this place done? I think so. I told him to heal him. Yeah, so this place is done. We go to the next hive. But I can see how this game gets. I mean, I know there's different variant types. We're gonna come up to that. But story-wise, they're just like that. Kind of like, let's try it. Get the weapons. Let's try that. Open this. So I think this is a really fun game to buy on the short term, and we'll see how the multiplayer is. The next time I stream it, that's what we'll do. We'll do it with some subs and um, a couple of personalities, hopefully. And I'm trying to get Total Biscuit to play it. He's in chemotherapy today, so thoughts are with him for sure. That's insane that he puts up with that, or had deals with that. If you break it, they, you cannot shut the door. It makes sense. Still haven't found a relic, which is really bothering me. I feel like I, there's no way I didn't pass one. I haven't heard any of the whispering thing, though. And backtrack. your height. Thanks, man. Look at that beautiful uh, base again now.
Boys! Help me look for a relic. got things propped up against it. I think that's supposed to signify that you are not meant to go through there. Getting pretty close to having a side gate here. Probably before we fight this next hive is what I was assuming. Let's just do that. That the map of those doors lead somewhere, maybe, but maybe from the other side is what I'm saying. <clears throat> They're also red on. to get electrocuted to death. You know? Oh, you're still alive? Badass. Shot off his arm, he drops the gun, and he still comes at me. I'm gonna go down here. I want, I, I, there has to be a relic somewhere. Oh. I hear that. Didn't I? Could have sworn I heard it. Your 
Am I wrong? Yep, there's one here. Am I walking past it? Secret room over here, maybe? You guys hear that? But I only hear it in this area right here. auto turrets, man. They are overwhelming us. Check the room. This is red. Over here, we don't hear it. Hey, buddy, thanks for the sub. Over there, we do. I don't think that it shows up on the mini map. It being a relic, that is, by the way. Hang on. Thank you for subscribing to this piece of shit. Man, if you're so desperate to get banned, you just. All you have to do is ask. The gym plays! Thank you, friend. In the general area. Yeah, I haven't heard a relic in a while, so I'm almost wondering if that is something like what's happening. Is it buggy? No, I haven't found it to be buggy at all. Oh my god. My buddy is painting Magnus right now. I just retweeted him. Uh, if you're into commission painting or anything like that, definitely, definitely check out that guy. He is one of the best painters I've ever seen, man. He's absolutely incredible. We're up to 10 subs, by the way. Because uh, with Hilger... Hil or Hilgi Jr., your name. Orajim, I didn't see that earlier. All these subs, 10 on the day. Motherfucking amazing. <laughs> I was wondering how you felt about that. No, Kadrian, we run a tight ship here, man. If you see someone just randomly saying something super, super mean, you feel free and ban them, buddy. No worries. Uh, we generally try to time people out if it's on the fence. 
but we're pretty liberal with that. So I just retweeted it. So if that's something that's interesting, you check that out. <clears throat> My Magnus the Red model is coming in. We're currently looking for a relic. Dang it, he got me again. So we're getting a little bit off off course here, and this big main room doesn't seem to have... ...much of anything. Ducato, thank you, friend. I guess we'll just run back. These guys just keep coming, so the, the cost of looking for this relic is mounting up a little bit. So I, you know what we should do is probably destroy this hive and then look for I don't know. I like that relics have like a sound. So that's your, your you know, it's not like really, really hard to find them. There's the salty part of me that's like, I wish it's on the map right now. Did I, did I close this? I closed this. I didn't want them in here. This is the objective. Right? Right past this door. I think with this hive, we're gonna fight our first big daddy, by the way. You know, closing that's the right call, but it makes me worried that there's a relic in there. Yeah, don't mind. They come through closed doors. So we'll go check it out. I like how the fire just kind of quietly goes forward. Oh shit! Did I die? What got me? A turret again! Motherfucker! <sighs> Which uh, army is Magnus going to be for? I just we have located it. the ancient Dark Angels ship I in have the a heart demon army. of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain... There was a load, right? I should check if there's a load. Because restarting seems a bit savage. Let's see if I can load. Yeah. We located the ancient I Dark think this Angel should be ship along. in the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, we fought I a horde the... of Xenos as... Cannon fire. The game is enjoyable. I'm having a good time with it. Alright. So it's after we killed the first time. Which is pretty far back, but you know what? Fair enough. Action complete. I hear it! There's a relic here. Okay. Dude, that's cool. Tearing at growth stuff. Sears would not necessarily have. So that's between us girls, it's a little bit outside the fluff, but whatever. It's all right. And now we're getting away from the sound, so it's, it's there's definitely one over here. Okay, well that's one relic we would have missed anyway, so that's nice. That's turning a frown upside down. Makes me have a little bit of anxiety that these guys will just keep showing up forever. I 
I like definitely want to find this. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I I can't imagine I go through one of these missions and I don't find every relic. Like, there's gonna be a moment where it's like I'm gonna backtrack forever, and that's gonna be stressful because, like I said, it's kind of a game of attrition. Let's go this way. I guess we'll head in the direction of this hive. I'm glad we found that relic. Yeah, the game doesn't run mega smooth. I saw someone commenting on that. Um, part of that's that I'm running it like the highest graphical settings. The other part is that I'm streaming, so that chews up a lot of the, my computer. My computer is a beast, but I am not a beast master, so like optimizing my computer is not something I'm very good at, just in general. That's part of the part of my experience. I'll hopefully get better at these kind of things as time goes on. That's Greek dog. That would be knowing something. Sometimes my allies are really smart. And sometimes they're really not. Sometimes I'm like, man, it's pretty cool having competent, uh, computer-driven, you know, allies. And then there's just guys, like, stabbing me in the back, and they're like, yeah, They'll figure it out. We're just hunting relics. I don't think this is even the right direction. This might even be going... No, it's actually in the direction of this hive. here. They're just chilling. I feel like this is something I'm supposed to use. That That's a plasma cannon. I don't think it's going to shoot me. to see if it does show relics on there, but it doesn't. out of the way. He's got one more heal. I should have got this wrong. Yeah. He's fucking exhausted. So over here is where we were last time where we could hear a relic. Security seals on the wall. That's the mechanic of Pog, by the way. Yeah, 
I think we're gonna have to get out of here. We're gonna teleport out of here and heal up, get our charges back. Let me see if this shows up. It says one of five. No, I know, it, it tells you how many relics you get. That's for sure. We knew that beforehand, though. It says that in the mission objectives. I wonder if you can even use these points. I don't think so. You have to be... It's too bad it gives you the option of changing out their, ma their range weapon. Uh, only for, you know, like a lightning claw or something like that. It's like, really? Really? You can just hit H for healing? I didn't know that. Well, that's a good tip. Over. Oh, the fire moved. <laughs> okay. That looked ridiculous. It's like, ah. Just help me with the relics, guys, because I. That's the kind of thing that, uh. I'll obsess over. If you hear one or know where one is, I don't mind the spoiler. Alright, one second. <clears throat> We're actually in the Wardy Team League. And I think they just scheduled our match for tomorrow. Definitely hear one. Seems like there's a big, complicated room to the right of this. Maybe we're hearing it through that wall. The Xenos are uncounting, and there's just one. I have to imagine you guys can take care of the one. Oh, well, it might just be in here. by going around the direction I was in. For 
this map didn't load completely. Uh, it did for me. I did all the objectives just fine. I think I have to go all the way around to get into there. I wonder what constitutes as a sa an auto save. Okay, so yeah, this door is blocked off. Died. From this fucker! It's killing me now too! It's a fucking turret! Turrets never die! Alright, well. My god! We located the Fucking ancient hell. Dark Angel's ship in the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Giddy... Three deaths, three turrets. Operation finished. Absolutely stunning. All right. Well, we know where to fuck around and where not to fuck around, for the most part. I need to go up there. My god. Let's head towards the hive, we'll hear a relic. I think it's I think it's like the same kind of thing where it's next to the nest in there. I think they want us to go all the way around to get at it, which is really fun. Is there a save, I wonder? Nope. So you're just kind of at the mercy of autosaves. And I feel like even opening up a Psygate doesn't get you there. In terms of autosave, I mean. Motherfucker. Did you guys not kill him up there? Hey, Topia, thank you for subscribing. I love you. You're awesome. I do appreciate that. Area 204. Let me put that in my memory here. I don't remember going up all these stairs. What? Why would this door... Why? 
I hear a relic in there. Let's see, I'm gonna obsess over this shit, man. Did you guys hear that? I should get in the habit of doing. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like this is the right way. In. Oh, that's absolutely the hybrid right there. It even says red. I'm just looking for relics, man. Where does this go? Is that a secret door? Yes, please be a relic. That's a relic, man. I like how they just quietly die. We got burned. Yeah, I'm just checking for looks, guys. I'm not going this way because I think this is necessarily the right way to go or something. Oh my god, we already came through this. Did we? Yes, we did. This is the start of the fucking level! It's alright. I'll remain calm. Can not be mad. Twice now we've heard relics and then been out of the area. It really bothers me. Alright, I'm just gonna go in the direction of the hive. There will be a relic in there, so we can just kinda scratch that off our list. Maybe that's one of the ones we've been hearing. So ungratifying. We find this hidden area. And it just absolutely leads to just something else essential. It's like, yeah, congrats. You would have probably found that anyways. It's like, really? That's... That's what you want to tell... Turk Dog, 31 months, bro. Thank you so much. Yep. This is absolutely. Down here, special looking area. Anything? Nope.
She's like, don't worry, I got it. These are stairs I already walked up. Yep, they absolutely are. Fucking hell. Can't even necessarily be like, oh, we found, we fought guys, so that means we're getting closer. No, not, not really. Feels like I'm getting, I am getting further away from the objective. I don't know. I don't mind this that much, but if there's like a lot of this, and it's a lot of just... Looking around for fucking relics. I'll go mad pretty quick. It's right over here. I can't hurt that. But it's in that room, and that room is the hive. We've kind of determined that. The nest. So you see that grayed out like honeycomb area to the left? We have to get into that. And I think to get into that. Well, that's that turret, by the way. Just go ahead and... We alert. Heavy stubble. Okay. So we're trying to get into that honeycomb over there to the left on the mini-map you can see. I, I see how we do it. It's up here to the left. Okay. I got it. Auto save, I didn't see. I didn't think to check. Wait, this is the auto turret though, isn't it? Look what we're gonna do. We are so smart. I'll try to hack it first. Hey. Hi. I'm just gonna fucking destroy it. Fuck it. We're gonna be cool. Never mind. Never mind! That's the one that killed us last time. Isn't it fun not dying to a turret? Oh. 
much. So you can heal yourself through the H, but as far as I can tell, healing your butts requires a space bar. But the H is pretty pretty clutch, because obviously you staying alive is the most important thing. You're the one that can get it back to the warp gate if need be. FUCKING TURRET! No! Oh, actually, that one I could've... I can't stop it, it's fine. Let's try to hack it. You only have a certain amount of time to use this. Yeah, I've never seen... an opportunity to actually fucking use it. The Xenos have encircled us. Okay, this seems to have been able to handle that. Well... We're in the honeycomb. Let's go over here to the right, but that door is blocked, but sometimes it just means you need to hack it. Get all our charges back, get these guys healed. Not save, as it were. <laughs> and then we'll spend the next probably 17 hours looking for relics. I don't need anything here. God, I hope this saves. Or maybe I have to destroy the hive to save, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, God. There's gotta be a boss. There's gonna be a boss. No, not really. Well, that was actually kind of easy. Now we go around looking for a rep. No, that's it? Oh my god. You would have to restart the entire fucking thing. Oh my god. Grandmaster, we have the opportunity to find out more about the location of the Dark Angel ship. Affirmative, Brother of Epistolary. Place an Augur Primus at the attached coordinates. Place the data transmitter 
It will send information about nearby defense and energy systems to Is the rest of the map Barbarian, blocked off so that he can triangulate the location of the ancient ship. Okay. I wonder if I can still go to the other parts of the map. It looks like I can. Two of five. Yeah, I have one side gate. I have one side gate, so I feel like I I feel like there's more. That's good. That makes me feel better. I still feel like I missed one though. It really bothers me. At least one. Can I join you? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play with subs the next time I stream this. So, if you wanna sub it up, sure, man. I can get you in there. feel like that is... If anyone's done this mission, can you tell me if I missed one and I'll go back and play it? Heal my dude? No, he's good. Unless you're like way behind or something. I don't think he gets the hack thing. Spat ass anyone's face yet? Well, we're wearing helmets. Oh, I guess my guy is not, so maybe he can. Alright, guys, write that down. We're gonna hit him up if we want a good co op partner. bet I can't make the zero sign. Zoro. You're probably right, man. Probably right. Looks like nobody is able to answer that question. Oh, you motherfucker. Five. Atari, I like it. It's fun. I don't think it's the best game ever made or something like that, but it's good looking. It runs fairly well. It's fun. I'm having a good time. So I know we're backtracking, but I'm going to be looking for this for these relics here. Although that is the honeycomb area, and we were pretty sure we heard a relic in the honeycomb area. No, I got that one. So I need someone to tell me if I missed a relic or not. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking for it.
is the relics show off the abilities, which is what I really want to, you know, selfishly I want for myself, but I also want you guys to see. I think I have not been over here. This looks like it leads to nothing at all. Yeah, we just haven't been over here. Oh, I hear one. I hear one over there. Or over there, rather. Alright, so I guess our backtracking is good. Yes. Right? I think it's in this room up here. It just jumped over my head. Oh, I definitely hear one. Maybe even a major relic. Oh, it's just that one right there. Really glad we came back here. Oh. Bro, you fucking. It does stop you though. If you run into somebody, you don't just keep running through them. Worth noting. Or am I not backtracking? Because this says I'm heading towards the objective. Maybe I'm just taking a different path. But we got that relic. We're at 3 out of 5. I can live with like 3 or 4 out of 5. That's fine. I was not going to be able to live with like 1 out of 5. You know, like that would just kill me. Not getting absolutely all of them. Sure. That happens. Oh no, okay, this is this is where we were. Um, so Friday, by the way, we'll play this and I'll play it with with subs. I've told Spooner Sloth we're gonna play with him, so we'll get him on a Skype call or something like that. And then, I don't know how big a squad is to play with, but we'll rotate subs in and out and play with them. People wanna play that. You can't just casually come around a corner with a rocket launcher, bro. Oh, okay, I know where we are. Over here is where we had the blocked doors. I'll try the hacking thing again. People were like, you can hack this place. One and F2. I wonder if I can heal them. Well, yeah, see, he doesn't give me the option. Same thing over here. To hack this door, either. Baseball! 35 months, man. You're one of the longest standing subs. Thank you so much, dude. Alright, so just go through here. Hopefully it's auto-saved, not just at the second hive. We're all healed up, mostly. Mostly. Here's where we, here's the next big fight, I guess.
Uh, I don't mind giving my sky pipes. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It won't be like all my subs, it's gonna be, uh... Um, Spinner Sloth. Alright, one second. My, uh, dad and brother. I'm, I'm actually going to Seattle tomorrow to watch the Seahawks game. And they're texting something. Interesting there. Bearson, stop. I had shotgun sometimes too. I do like the getting hit it fucks up your aim. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even see this. Just open a door with a missile launcher, bro. The righteous shall prevail.
You piece of shit! You what? You what, mate? You can hear my phone blowing up. That's us trying to get you a plan we're organized. We have a caster team and a wardy team lead. But half of us are in Korea. Nate doesn't want to organize. I'm taking a trip tomorrow. The league's like, you must play tomorrow. Alright, what about Friday? Did that guy blow himself up? Oh, I hear one. Where? It's around here. All I want for Christmas is my tooth frog tape. It's over here, man. Bro, knock it off. Oh, it's a good one! We got another side gate out of that. That's kind of interesting. Major ones. Major ones give you a side gate, apparently. <laughs> and I think that counts as a relic, so... Fuck, do you want me to place this? Do I smash it through the wall? I do. Hang on, more text messages. Master of Mankind is out, the book. I didn't know that. A lot of people asking how I'm liking the game so far. I am. I am liking it. Um, I think my overarching comment for people would be, this is not the kind of game I can see myself getting lost in for three or four weeks and just being like, oh my god, I'm madly in love. But I'm going to play this for a solid 20, 30, 40 hours, something like that. Or maybe multiplayer is really fun. Um, but the campaign's okay. It's obviously a little bit meat grindery, like this is the second time where I'm guessing what we do here is we hold this spot. Oh, there's some calculation runs. And that's that's pretty comfortable. Not gonna lie. I don't know if that's a good spot.
guys fucking wreck me. And there's an auto save, I see it in the corner, cool. Go to your assigned battle zone with your command squad. Nope, FPS is not very smooth. I've been talking a lot about that though, somebody in chat please fill in for me because it's gonna get really old saying that over and over again. So heavy flamer would be cool. The range on it obviously not super amazing. So that's kind of my concern, and I can't, it would be cool if you could put it on somebody else. Uh, but at the same time, I, th I feel like we have to show it off. It's very reliable, it's recoil is non-existent, it's accuracy is non-existent, it's fire rate's really high, it's damage is 4. How does the lore hold up? I'm happy with it. There's obviously, like, little silly things, like there's Terranid biofauna inside the ship. That wouldn't happen. Chancellors don't bring that. Uh, that only occurs when you... And this is like deep lore. The Terranid biofauna only occurs when they like successfully actually seed the atmosphere. Chancellors don't do that. Because that would give away their presence, obviously. And it's also just not necessary. And they just don't function that way. But how fucking deep deep lore is that? So it's not a big deal. And you could you could argue. It's like, nah, there's Chancellors here, but there's also something else. And Taint and the fucking. Alright, I'm gonna try out the heavy flamer. I mean, it's awesome. It shakes the screen. You can't not like that, and I'm guessing it does ridiculous damage. This is a bit of a risk, but we had an auto save. So. Let's see how it goes. Like that guy, though, I have nothing. I can't deal with him at all. Okay. Just need to get to this extraction point. Uh, and I think there's only one more relic to find, so we would have only missed the one relic. Which is nice. And I'm guessing the last relic is somewhere towards, you know, that spot, so... I was worried about missing relics, but so far we're doing okay, I think. I like... Yeah, you're dead. I was gonna say, I like that there's a flashlight on your flamethrower, so you can see where you're shooting the fire. Extraction point. This says blocked, but I'm guessing we can hack our hack through it. Persistent progression? I don't know what you mean. I'm not that smart. I feel like this gun is the anti nuclear gun. I think I like the aesthetic of the power pin. Oh, which by the way, apparently I switched back into. Well, this gun's the epitome of I have no idea what's going on. There's that Terranid Fawn I was talking about. It's not a big deal. And I'm sure there's so much dialogue. Actually! 
In such and such episodes of graphic novels, there was Karen and Fauna where the chain stores put it there. I'm sure there's some form of consistency with that. All right. I just died. Don't say turret. Okay, thank you. So first, the it's our first non-turret death, guys. In the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted investigatory missions to uncover this enigmatic vessel enigmatic from our vessel. dark and distant past. Your assigned battle zone with your command squad. Oh, there you go. Oh. Love look very fashionable. Okay. I mean, one of my big concerns every morning is gosh, I hope a bunch of dudes find me attractive. What'll happen if they don't? So we saw the flamethrower, it's alright. Can't do sword with flamethrower. I'm still gonna do this though. This combo. As cool as the flamethrower is, it does a lot of damage. I need the ability to hit those hybrids at range. Sure, an answer on my behalf, guys. Every individual person that comes in, like, what do you think so far? And I've already answered like seven times. I actually cannot keep doing that forever. So, if someone comes in and asks, what does he think so far? Feel free to answer on my behalf. Said the same thing. I actually zoom in too much. 
you can believe that. It's good at range, but when you zoom in when they're right next to you, it just becomes like overexposed light, basically. Yeah, it's not, it's, there's drop, drop frames and stuff, it's slightly repetitive. I can see why the people would be giving it harsh reviews. As I said, it's, it's a fun game for me. Uh, not for like, I'm gonna play this forever, but like, I'm enjoying this. What I'm doing right now, I'm enjoying it. And it's decently made, and I'm gonna check out multiplayer, and that'll be that. So it kind of depends on what you're looking at for a game. Like, if you're like, I need this game to give me a hundred hours some of the best gameplay I've ever had in performance and stuff, then you're not gonna... You're not gonna like a lot of games. Is there a fucking turret? No? That's a guy? Well... I meant to charge that guy. That's why I was hitting every button with the right one. Every button with the right one. I'm not going to get one relic. Whoa! Relic's found zero. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. Oh, you fervor points aren't based on relics? Never mind, then. Just your overall score, I guess. Alright. Equip the plasma cannon. Uh, two more points. These all sound so good. To counter our operation, Gene Stealer Human oh, Hybrids off. attempted to propel a part of the Space Hulk into a gravity well. After a difficult battle, we defeated them. And we destroyed many nests that were supplying the enemy with constant reinforcements. Constant reinforcements. As the aliens fell before our assaults, we gathered more precise information about the location of the ancient ship from Lost Caliban. We drew much ire from the Xenos. But matched it with our righteous hate. What are you guys seeing for viewership? The I again signal, cannot see like my own viewership. Into the heart of our foes. 
Harrison. Eight forty five. Awesome, guys. Checking this out with me. Appreciate you all stopping by. Make sure to click that follow button if you, you haven't already. The faint Dark Angel's beacon signal from a point where no warrior from the chapter should be. Mm -hmm. It seems to originate from the cluster of ships we believe may contain an ancient Dark Angel's vessel. You must secure the site and investigate the beacon's origin. Proceed with caution, brother. The secrets of the past pursue us. Uh, let's go to the here, just to see this. What? There's gotta be more. Look at that guy. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. You know, and if we're being critical, like in this part, this looks rather basic. Like, this stuff looks cool to me. This looks like we're looking in, a, in our, you know, Terminator armor HUD, basically. But this text, I don't know. I'm being mega nitpicky. Mega nitpicky. But I feel like that's what we're asking for. This all looks cool to me, though. I like this as far as UI. This looks like something they would be looking at. Psychic powers. So to me, by the way, the Inferno is like a must. The Telekinetic Blast is cool. But we're going to try out Lion's Shadow. Lion's Shadow. And then... This is really interesting to me. So, like, Lightning Claw, huge damage. Obviously very fast. It's anti-armor. Like, everything about it's fantastic. But then you are just close combat. How is that possible? How is it possible to get through the game like that? Which makes me sad. It makes me want to try it out, but I just I can't wrap my head around how I think that would be terrible. Just has to be terrible. We found a sword for that guy, by the way, too. Let's look at our relics. Where's our relics? There it is. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we checked that out. MP? What do you guys mean? Multiplayer. M MP? Yeah, okay. You go claws, supposed to use powers more? Yeah, I get that. But I, I'm just foreseeing, like, three rocket launchers at a distance, and I'm like, Guys! You'll have to kill them! Huh, huh, huh. And the guys over there are like, Ah! There's a rocket launcher! And then, and then I'm just frustrated. All right, well, let me use the restroom and get some... I'm going to fill up my water. Turn on the light and finish that.
Hey, Roy. That signal is far beyond the advance of our band. Hey! Demon bunnies. Thank you for the reset. 15 months, long time, but I do appreciate it. You sexy son of a bitch. It's a fire haze, it's not good. What the fuck is that? Drop deuce! Two months in a row using that Twitch Prime sub on me. Thank you, man. You sure know how to make a girl feel special. This whole place is giving me some bad vibes, bros. What's my objective? <sighs> Secure the site and investigate the beacon. Thank you to those of you that sub. Really do appreciate it. We got a couple of donations too. Just all that good stuff. Even just clicking the follow button. That helps. It all helps. Powers around. Oh, I did. I actually teleported in there. That's awesome. The <laughs> plasma cannon's pretty sick, by the way. <laughs> I like the sound on it. Sounds cool. Obviously, a much slower rate of fire, but it's got an explosion to it. Don't mind it. Beep burp, beep burp. I'm dreaming of a white person. Looking for a relic. God, that does sound cool. I know we're going away from the objective. I'm sure there's a way to look up what fervor points do for you. I probably should do that. Or how you get the... Oh. Hear it. <laughs> Fucking kill him, dude! What are you doing? Did your arm hurt? What the fuck, dude? You're just looking at him. That's what I'm talking about. If I had lightning claws, I see myself getting very mad. Can't go through this. I will It's over here. I changed the order of my power and you need to get more used to it. It's right in here. I know it's 
secret door. Oh shit. Major motherfucking relic! Got a book, y'all. Yeah, but like a fancy book. I know this is really bad timing, but we have not yet fought a big dude. I gotta be careful how I use that. Because, like, the cool thing I could do with that is zoom in on a guy and then use an AoE, like the fire or even lightning. But the kind of cool, I don't know, you could call it lazy. I actually think it's cool. There's zero animation on it. You just are there, you just explode it out of the game. And that's just how it is. I actually kind of like that, like I was saying. But I could see that also being very disorienting. Oh, I could have taken these over. Okay. says this is accessible, but we know that we can't actually cleave through those boxes, so it's just another side to us, all that is. We're heading towards the beacon. I'll try hacking it. This never works. This never does anything. There's nobody in this room. Cool! Again, I could see in multiplayer that being... They are overwhelming us! More interesting. Why did you just said we're over being overwhelmed? There's nothing going on at all. Charging a dude with the plasma cannon? Maybe not the best. You got that? It's like, yeah, don't worry. Taking it like a boss, I guess. Very slowly realizing you should probably shoot the dude that's right in front of him. You're the angels of death. We're getting closer. I like that there's friendly fire too. Um, in the campaign that I'm playing, you don't do damage to your allies, uh, but I'm told in multiplayer you do. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 
The fact that it just goes down the line. They're just walking around. So I think it's in the room on the other side of this. Which, to be fair, I'm heading towards a blocked door and there's totally an open door. That's fine. It's over here. Oh! I don't know how we're still alive, but we are! Hang on, boys. Fuck these things. Turrets, man. Bears, stop licking your paw, bro. Get out of the way. Guy. It was actually on that squack. We're doing okay though. You wanna kill that guy? Mama signal identifies the remains as brother Mel. Dark angel from the oldest days of Along with many brothers, he has lost the ship Caliban. Super Ultra! Thanks for the sub. Must be the first one. Which one of the cruisers sent back to Caliban. Ten thousand years ago. This confirms our suspicions. We must discover the fate of Caliban's will, and that of its crew. Trying to listen to the story. Use your powers to learn what you can of Magog. No, no fantasy army. Cool. He looks cool. Oh, do I move? Yeah, I do. We're in the stream, boys. We're in the stream now. Amadeus8, thanks for the four months, friend. Everything's 
lifting. Must get to the book. What was that? I saw a strange place. Somewhere aboard the Caliban's will. And within a, an artifact. It is this prize that brought us here. Connected to the omens of future disaster. Shade of the lion. The visions of the librarian are true. The doctor faces catastrophe, perhaps extinction. Suspend all current operations. The new priority is to secure the Caliban's will and to secure this artifact. Why do we think it'll kill us all? How does how did you get there? How in the absolute fuck did we get there? The psychic backwash of my mental scans. Oh my god, artifact! We all could die! They are gathering for an attack. Exterminate them before they assemble sufficient strength. What? Should I be down there? Prepare your frame rage. I breathe in miracles. Maybe we get out over here. Because there could be an artifact. Because big room. Dude, you're naked. But I don't hear anything. Absolutely nothing. What? No! Fuck you. Tough. I totally get it. Ah. Oh. Hear that? That's the sound of Happy Jeff. Happy Jeff. found this minor relic next to the dead body of a once person, probably. I have a Terminator. Unblock it. Oh boy. Where?
I feel like we go over to that big room, but let's check over here first. I think that's the big room we were already in. Maybe not, though. We haven't used our first side yet, I realize that. We're just doing pretty good here. We've been here. We've been here before. <coughs> I don't think they're shooting donut holes. You've led an interesting life. Oh shit! We alert. Heavy stone. I didn't mean to hit the three. Although that actually kind of worked out. It actually is pretty cool too to just teleporting. The neutralized. To like a spot that might be hard to get to. Actually, I could see that being really cool with the claws. Now that I think about it, that might that might synergize really well. Alright, we're gonna check out these side doors. Every time I find a secret passage, like my brain tells me, good job, you found something cool. Not really, not necessarily. Secret passages in this game sometimes are just flat out exactly where you're supposed to go. Which is a lot less gratifying. We're kind of getting away from the objective, but again, we're just hunting for relics. I like the Ever Run, and I like that they made that a charge as well, so it can be an attack. It's really cool. I think they could have done it a little bit more, where like literally when you hit the guy, they just red miss. There's a lot of that with, with Terminators, or well, it's just with Space Marines. They're just they are superhumans in superhuman armor. So in lore, when they punch somebody, they usually like disintegrate their chest, and they just get pulverized instantly, depending on how hard they hit them, obviously. Terminator armor is supposed to be a space marine in tactical tank armor, essentially. A guy running around in like a mini tank. Energized power fists and swords and claws. Fuck, I know that sound! Get out! Boys! Boys! It's their most lethal weapon possible. Yeah, Terran didn't exist in 30 years. We are not alone. Not really. Up 
Meaning I think he does damage when I teleport inside of his body. Inside of his body! Plasma Cannon's been a big two thumbs up, by the way. Highly recommend. Plasma balls, by the way, which is like superheated energy. It just nails something and just goes. Just because it. Almost on a molecular level, just. Yeah. Yeah. Would I equip anything different? I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with this. Into the warp. Perhaps it needs to be auto hook this one. Gentle fire. <coughs> you can fuck off, Mr. Turret Man. Oh! Oh my god, so sick. The sound it makes. Cover me, I'm going into the computers! For a boss fight, it, I know that there's big patriarchs and stuff. Or broodlords. I know we fight it. I'm excited to hold down that trigger on it until it dies. Is it? Redemption. That sounds good. That sounds good. 61% of relics found? What does that even mean? Another swarm is coming. Block the access bulkheads to hamper its progress. Where's that? The other direction? You don't say. Oop. There it is! Well, 
must get to the objectives, brothers. They are slightly different from all the others that we have done. Nosers. Getting bad. Our radar is gone. Poopity poopity. Those are bigger. Those are quite a bit bigger. <laughs> Get out of here. Poke out. No. Come on. I like how the plasma cannon is usually the last thing you hear. There's like a roar, and then plasma is done. Mission success will greatly impede the swarm's ability to die. Fucking kill them. I don't know. I'm not gonna use my side gate yet. You know what? I am. I'm gonna use my side gate. We just hit a save point. He has all eight of his fucking charges, so that's a little bit sad, but we can load up the better weapon. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty bad. Let's try it out. Less accurate, reliability through the roof. God damn, it feels like this is still better. Uh, we'll try it. They ricochet? Alright, we're gonna try it. Ricochet could be cool. Could be really cool. Wait. Give it to me. Oh, motherfucker. I think I don't see what I do. You dumb bitch. You dumb bitch.
I think it's actually around. Oh. <laughs> Wow, this might be sick. Or not. Ooh. Major relic. Kill him, please. This gun sounds awesome. And I love that ricochet. This gun might replace the Storm Bolter. I'm liking it so far. Close. That's new. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Just flat out didn't mean to hit that. At all. Pretty sure I was hitting a three, but okay. Oh, that's awesome. We gotta get to these locks. They're gonna keep coming. Behind the corner. Get it. Mission success will allow other Deathwing squads to respond. We did it. Operation finished. We did it. <clears throat> Off we go. To the final locks. The final locks now. Looks cool. I like that they're trying to do different things in the missions. The whole like calculating and you hold off a horde of their guys is a little repetitive, but I mean what what can you do with a game like this? I'd have more unique bosses. That's something that people want. Fuck shot. Oh. 
Get him any Christmas, dude. Didn't even see up there. We still have one more side gate to go. Things get really bad. I think I've already been down here, yeah. Over the shoulder plasma shot. Nope, don't worry. In the ass. That sounds really ominous. Oh, this gun. I'm in love with this gun. Flanks and rear zones have been secured. You are safe to proceed to the Caliban's will. To the Caliban's will, friends. Yeah, your bone bears. Good boy. Hi. Are you circling around? He's like, yeah, they were. There's a screech. And there's a plasma can shot. And then there's nothing. Caliban's a sick band. They are, they're... They are from Finland. Okay, go that way. I liked them back in the day. Look out! Plasma cannon don't give a damn. Neither does the shotgun though. Got that? What? Almost there.
Well, I get a plasma cannon. And we got four fervor points. Is the relics just a way to score higher? Is that all it is, I guess? That's kind of the feeling I get. Selfish for wanting. For wanting that, you know? Oh, Those critical hits. The strange dark angel's beacon conducted us to the corpse of Brother Magon. A dark angel from the earliest days of the Imperium. Along with many brothers, he was lost with the ship Caliban's Will. It was one of the cruisers sent back to Caliban with Luther during the Age of Heresy, 10,000 years ago. This confirmed our suspicions. We had to discover the story of Caliban's Will and perhaps learn something of the loyalty and fate of its crew. I conducted a psychic scan that showed me a strange artifact inside the ancient Dark Angel ship. We had to find it at any cost. At any cost. We needed to reach Caliban's will quickly, but more and more, I felt the encroaching psychic presence of an inhuman eye watching us, waiting in darkness. I'm gonna play till 4:30, and then I'm gonna call the stream then, just yeah, because I have a four-hour show that we're doing Next on MBJP's channel. Brother. I'll talk. We everything. have located the Caliban's will, last recorded in action during the Horus Heresy, as we suspected. It can only be reached through another vessel, a Crusade warship from the Black Templars that is listed as lost in the warp during the 39th millennium, identified in the archives as the Sanctum Imperator. It was launched by the Missionarius Galaxia, but never reached its destination. The transport has impacted into the Caliban's will, and is preventing direct access to our ancient Legion ship. <coughs> it is imperative that you seize the Sanctum Imperator, so that our forces can make a breach into the Caliban's will. Your attack must be swift, Orga crews have warned that elements of the nearby Tyranid High Fleet have changed course oh, shit. and are now heading directly toward the Alethros. Very cool. Um, well, anyways, yeah, so we'll do this mission and then I'm going to call it a stream. That'll be about five hours of streaming anyway, so that's a pretty good stream. But, um, it me JP's channel will have Blades in the Dark, which you, if you know about, that's awesome. If you don't and you want to watch some tabletop D&D, you should check out his YouTube channel, it me JP. It has all of those there for free to watch. A gigantic bank vault of uh, videos that you can watch and enjoy. A lot of people really do. Very fun. But it's important that I don't stream up to that because I will be dead tired. And also I have to do some things because tomorrow I'm heading off to go see the Seahawk game in Seattle. Is the Coswin Mace any good? Nope, it's just a reskin of a Power Fist. So yes, but it's, you know, nothing special. Stalker strain. Cool. Alright. So now we can have a plasma cannon. Which is cool. Damage is through the roof. Fire rate's really low. Accuracy is high. Recoil is high. Reliability is low, but I actually think the redemption is just sick. I do.
do you think that is the case? Spontaneous combustion is going to be ridiculous. I gotta read, um... Inside the Sanctum Imperator, these impious creatures will find much well, I'm gonna get some water real quick, give me a sec. Should never sit they for too long, so let me get some water. One more mission, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it! Do you think I like the shotgun quite a bit? Oh, our abilities are in cooldown still. Actually, let's just wait a second. Hey, uh, Angelo85, the need for seat chair is fantastic. It is expensive at $400, but it'll last you forever, man. And they are extremely comfortable. And if you sit a lot, if you use your chair a lot, investing into comfort <clears throat> is actually investing into your own health, and it's really, really good. But if you're thinking about buying one, if you could wait until January... Maybe there is a, a code you could use to get more for your money. Maybe somebody would know somebody who could help you with that. And that would help them a lot. Just something to think about. Okay, abilities are good. Kind of new gene sealer. What in the fuck did you? Yeah, you better run, bitch. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that was our three, so it's on a one minute cooldown. I get it. Oh, that was sick. That's the thing about this when people are like, this game sucks. Maybe it does, but to me, playing Warhammer and seeing a fairly decent depiction of Gene Stealers and fighting as a Terminator, like, nah, I'm happy. I think in a lot of ways I'm easily pleased in that regard, but, but I am. Oh, he just killed his own guy. Motherfucker. We're gonna rock. This 
this gun. Whoa! They're big. Hit. Hit somebody. Thank you. Fuck, thanks. Our sound over here. I hear my favorite sound. We could go up the other way. That sound. Shit. You guys gotta take care of the rocket launcher, dude. I know how to take care of it. <laughs> Be alert. Let me stop her. I love it. Warrior oh, strength. Slay the abomination. I think you just shot out the plasma cannon. Generally, that will do the job. Let me just go ahead and scan that little turret there and get rid of it. Just aesthetically, it feels very much so like the Warhammer universe, you know? Gothic. Powerful. Oh. Very cool. Does Anna get concerned about the laughter? Come on, man. Anna's known me for like 11 years. You think I can do anything without her expecting it? Brother, I thought statue. Action complete. Action complete. Let's get all healed up. We haven't used a single side yet, yet so. This should be a big fight. First, a relic. Oh! Huge. Concealer. Bro. How are you not dead? Can't punch the floor. Be alert. Heavy stopper. Yeah, I do wish my computer was more of a beast, guys, so that I could run this perfectly. It's a very pretty game, otherwise. <clears throat> oh. You know what? I'm not a blow mode. I was gonna say, don't tell me there's not range on my psychic abilities. Get out of here. If only I had more subs, guys, I could afford to increase my computer's power and strength. By orders of magnitude, you know what I mean? 
only like a thousand more subs. You can do that easily. This is a fight. It's a big fight. <clears throat> we got a big fight here, boys. Oh, he's spit shit. Holy fuck! He's killing us! We got it. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and use the side gate. Just okay, James. Welcome to Chat Utopia. Thank you for subscribing. And basically, I think you're awesome. Ask for a sub and receive. More people thinking the way as you do, man. I could end up pretty okay. Was that a Tyranid Warrior? Is that what that was? I like it. I like it. Well, that's the best side gate we've ever used. We were low on charges, both the guys dropped. Sided, 11 months. Thank you, friend. Did you kill him? This is misleading, though, by the way, that it goes, relics found, you haven't found all of them. It's like, well, up until this point, I have, or have not, how could I not sub to a huge Warhammer 40k nerd? The biggest, I would say. Uh, thunder hammer and shield. Speaking of thunder, Thunder Hatter! Welcome to Chat Utopia, man. Thank you for subscribing. Guys, I do appreciate it. Talking about how I needed subs, and a few of you rallied together. And, uh. Made it amazing, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Today's been awesome. Good audience. I'm having fun with this game. Eliminate the enemy psychers. Enemy psychers? Uh oh. And, uh. Great. Everything, you know? More subs than I could ask for. It's awesome. Stop her They're fighting out there. I'm supposed to get him until I don't the mission. You don't like subbing to channels? Understandable. Totally understandable. Uh, just watching is a form of helping. I think that, that is something that, that does need to be... Communicated. Um, hopefully, you've clicked the follow button on a channel that you do enjoy, because that's a a moneyless way of helping that channel out. Think of it as like a follow on Twitter. What's this calculation running? Is that a timer until I die? Hey, J Rags, thank you, friend. I hope that's not a timer. Where do I look at mission? Oh my god, it is a timer. Oh, I hate timed missions. I'm just not much in the way of... I mean, I hate them because they're stressful. Not because like, I think they're bad for the game or something. They're not. They're fine. <laughs> You guys gotta kinda deal with that. We gotta go quick. This is gonna be the worst frame rate stuff, guys. I do apologize. It's because I have to run through this. So that was our first pseudo boss. It was kinda cool. Pseudo boss. 
Sorry. Deal with it. Hey! Come on. He's just like, no. Oh. Well, that's what I was Oh, I'm still heading towards one? Or did I just walk in a full fucking circle? Nope, over here. But I can't get through here, can I? God damn it. You think my mic sounds good? Well, that's good to hear. It's not the nice mic. That's what I'm talking about. I just wasted a whole bunch of time and now I'm really stressed. Because apparently the whole room is a dead end. Autosave is just before this. I'm basically running as fast as I can. I did waste some time by taking one wrong turn. I hope that's not enough to just lose. Fuck. They're just fucking mauling back there. My guy's just chilling back there. Fuck off. Is there only two others? Because if there's only two others... It is done. That kit is reloading. Heal yourself, bitch. Operation finished. Thank you. Done. Took fucking forever. Oh, timing missions? I think we're okay. If there's only two more, I think we're okay, and they look like they're in a similar space. I have to not take wrong direct turns like that. Although that one's fine. The other one where I ran a full circle in a giant room was terrible. It was really annoying. I think we're okay. Kill with honor. Kill with honor. Kill with beef jerky. What? I mean, look, I've been around a long time. It's fun. It's fun. I keep being, seeing people be, you know, it's like 50 50 comments pretty hilariously in the chat because it's 50% like and 50% not like on Steam, but people are like, this looks awesome, or people are like, this is terrible! 
Nope. I trust a lot of you. Oh, shit. To be much better about, um... Optimizing your computer than me. I'm one of the worst at that. Christ on a fucking stick. I mean, I'm glad I got that relic. That was a dead end. You're fucking kidding me, man! You get all the abilities! Fuck! Now I'm not quite as confident. Fuck! Nah, we got half time. We're fine. They give you a lot of time. That's what I'm talking about with, with time missions. I'm nervous about this shit, man. I don't like being timed. You fucking... Alright, hang on. Oh, we could've done that. Uh, get to the objective, Jeff! Thanks again, guys, for the subs. Today's been tremendous. I'm having a lot of fun, like I was saying. Uh, it's cool streaming in front of a, a great audience. And I will be streaming Friday. I, I'm not streaming Thursday. I'm gonna go see the Seahawks game with my family. I play Terranids, by the way, that's like my my army. I have an Adeptus Mechanicus army, I have knights and stuff like that, but to me, and I have demons. To me, Terranids are my heart and soul. So the fact that there are Terranids in this game is the other part of the reason why it's going to be very hard for me to not absolutely love this game. I think that's a big daddy. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! You guys gotta kill him. If you ever watch me play XCOM, you know that I get stressed out about time stuff quite a bit. Oh, brain drop! Seems like this other one is close to this, so... Very doable. Here we go. Get ready for this boss fight. God dang it. Where is he? Big of a fight. Hive Tyrant, get out of here. 
Get out of here! With that noise. Hive Tyrant would destroy us. I mean, Terminators have a two-up save in the game. So you could make him forever. Or you could just fail the first one. And you're going... Really? You're just out here, bud? Just out here hanging around? Radar's getting fucked up. Fuck you! No time. Use a side gate. I wonder if the clock keeps running when you're out. Not that it's a super big deal, because I'm just gonna pop in and out. It does, uh, as it should. Before the Emperor. Well, I'm not the Emperor, but you should bow before him too, though. Come on, boys. Did you like it? I loved it. I'm streaming, so. But uh, did you like the, the person? Tony? Everyone? Did you see him? Yeah, he wanted to take pictures of my hair and he fluffed it and stuff. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. Did he come over and check and make sure it's great? No, because uh, not everyone there is uh, a student. No, but he still usually checks. Oh, yeah, so. but he did. He's the owner. And she was like, Tony, look. Oh, that's amazing. We should take photos of that. Do so you really like it? Your hair looks great. You like it? Yeah. I traded him a pink streak for an orange streak. 
it's fairly imperceptible, but that's probably a good thing. The pink streak towards the end looked more, you know, like a bat. Yeah. It was good? You know, like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I think it looks more natural than usual, which is good. Yeah. Like a natural red slash red. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish up stream and then I'll hang out with you. Okay. I'm going to say hi to this toad. What is this new equipment? Mission success, brother. The energy field is not uh. Enter the Caliban's will without delay. Do this game, man. Space Hulk Deathwing. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> sh let me show you Gene Sinus. This looks so you. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. You're fighting Gene Sinus, you're fighting Terranus. As a term. Someone told me that um, the cool thing about this game was that when you're walking, you feel heavy. Yeah. You feel like a heavy That's you running and you can't run forever. It just goes down. You can't jump. There's no platform. It's very grim dark. I'm shooting like a space shotgun right now. This looks amazing. Yeah. It has a little bit of frame issues, or frame rate issues, but it's actually really good. The art, I mean, looks amazing. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Game. There's actually quite a few, quite a few variety of Gene Sears 2, which is always a problem with a game like this, where you're just fighting the same three things forever. Let me show you one fight. Is this the one where you first fight? Yeah. Pretty cool. uh, it's co-op and stuff like that, so these are computers right now that you could have friends playing. very funny seeing any Warhammer game go long play. Warhammer people that play games online. My god. A little negativity there? There's a little bit of... It's a tough crowd, as I think the politically correct way to put it. Frame rate drop! There it is! Okay, here's a fight. Run up these space hole. I fight Jesus at a cold here as well. Doesn't matter to me. We are the angels of death. It is. Yeah, this is the old spirit. The righteous shall prevail. Oh, 
mostly meant to be like a. This is a cool single player for a game. It's probably meant to be mostly. Yeah. Heck. Come on. You're a <laughs> Do they just come forever? Is there? Like to get out of this dream now. any ideas because I don't have any health and I'm just killing them forever and that's fun and all but I feel like it has its limits you can't hurt me it's just a dream Stop. Maybe I go here. I don't. Ugh. Use the force, Jeff. Stop killing them. Oh, that might be it. Uh, maybe I haven't been here. I have been here. I have been here. Fuck! Well, this has to be it. There's arrows and stuff. What the fuck? No one's ever done this? This does look chaos -y. Ah! I'm just gonna go to that room and maybe die since it let them attack me. Because so far... Oh, there's a lever in here? Alright. Where? Where's the lever? Are you just saying that? Because you got me real excited. God, you were just saying that, weren't you? I'm gonna hit this over. You go down the shaft they come from? I'll try. Oh, I might actually be able to do that. God dang it, you're right. I'm surprised none of you have come this far, though. It doesn't matter! The whole world's falling apart! Yes, 
beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, Must be very frustrating for the gene stealers. Yeah, we keep hitting him. He's not really responding. Towards the light. Ugh. Oh my God! There is an end to that. The mace is AP one. Your psychic revelation is of secondary importance. Hold fast and purify the area. Urge the Xenos. To enter Caliban's will, you must clear the battle zone and move the bridgehead to support the next phase of operation. Here's that calculation again, but same thing. Well, I mean, there's like two there, I can count them. You mean more than a... Adam Contini, what's up, bro? Have the immolation thing here in a second. It's really been six months. Oh god. Whoa. Treat yourself. Treat yourself, bitch. I love it, and it's not looking. This is the epic fight. Here you go, I mean, this is Warhammer for you, though. Oh, he died. Second like explosion. One of my powers is I can teleport inside of somebody and then they explode. Here he comes. I got it. Look at it, look at it. See him crawling down. Yeah. Pretty cool. Ugh. I think the shotgun is pretty dang good here. Oh, is that a shit? Well, that is a warrior, isn't it? He just killed the guy. Oh, he's dead. I like how he's charred afterwards. Man. That took a lot. I'm gonna see if I just need a board. I might just need a board and we're done. I know that both my guys are dead, so. This might just be the end of it. Fervor! Hellfire! Fervor! Alright. And then I'm like, kinda wanting to get this one. 
God dang it, that sounds good. But, I'm not gonna do it. <coughs> I'll do that. Part of the Tyranid fleet had begun to approach the space. No, it's not a high turn. That's a warrior. Tasked us with a mission to find a way to reach Caliban's will through another impacted vessel. A crusade warship from the Black Templars called it's the Sanctum Imperator. Out. This ship it's was beautiful. sent out from Terra to carry the Emperor's holy will to the galaxy, but was caught in the warp and crushed against Caliban's will. To enter the Dark Angel ship, we had to deactivate an energy field that was blocking our way. During this operation, Is there a bonus for keeping guys alive in the end? I don't. I mean, maybe. Minded creature. You might be right. In its mind, it's all about maxing out your fervor. I think that's the only metric that presence. I can see that really matters. Though disturbed, I was heartened we had finally entered our ancestors' ancient ship. All right. Let's take a look at the beast. Fourth gen? I think we have any kind of that. Or, I mean, Sith strain gene stealer. So they're just calling that a gene stealer. Interesting. I mean, that looks like a warrior. These arms are very warrior-like. The head's very warrior-like. It's whatever. They're sticking with Gene Sears. I got it. There's going to be people that are like, That's not in the lore! I get it. Oh, you can spin this around. That's cool. I mean, that, that straight up is a warrior. The head's a little Carnifex-y. Whatever. Lamp of the Blind King, scroll of life. I wonder what happens if you recover them all. Vision is deeply disturbing, brother librarian, and it may be an ill. Uh, play on normal, you mission, But our desire to overcome will be as strong as beaten steel. You must identify the location you saw in the death memories of Brother Magon. To do so, place an Augur Primus in the main console of the ship's Would strategic... make much sense for a random warrior Let with the gene suit. Yep. guide your weapons. So, having them kind of mutate into different strains, I get it, it's cool. Let's see what the Hellfire does. Hey, C260, thank you, friend. Uh, I like it a lot, man. I'm enjoying it. I don't think it's the most amazing game of all time, but it's pretty great. In terms of the things I like. Right, let's take a look at this. Wow. Interesting. Not the highest rate of fire. Huh, I wonder. I wonder if that would be better. Its damage is 5. Its rate of fire is quite slow, though. Accuracy very high, recoil, whatever. I, I think I would try that. <clears throat> Been loving the plasma cannon, man. did not change my side powers, but it changed it for me, which is really nice that they keep doing that. Alright.
And we got a sub, a buzzard beater sub. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. Llama Fist. Welcome to Chat Utopia. But that's going to be our stream. I'm going to take this time to rest the voice uh, and just get some stuff done before the show at 6 o'clock, which is Blades in the Dark. Hopefully you guys, uh, if you want, check it out. If you haven't watched any of that, you can get all caught up or give it a try on ItMeJP's YouTube channel. And that's where you'll find it. So I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be at the Seahawk game and visiting family, but I will be streaming Friday. I am really enjoying this, so I will finish the campaign. And then after that, give the multiplayer a shot. Uh, Total Biscuit said he wants to stream it possibly next week with me. Um, I've told Spooner Sloth we'll play it with him. And then I have said that I'll play it with subs. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, just kind of keep your eyes on my Twitter. Uh, or come back to the stream. The best way to do that is to track, you know, follow me on Twitter, but also following the stream. Um, and then just a special shout out to everyone who subscribed and donated. A very Another hugely productive day. It's 19 subs on the day, 120 follows. Uh, we had really good viewership, so just very happy with how today went, so thank you all very much for being a part of that. Um, and that's that, so that's the immediate plans. I'll probably stream this weekend as well, but that's always kind of hit or miss and limited, because um, I usually prioritize hanging out with friends and Anna and stuff like that. Um, and that's all. All right, thank you all so much. I will see you all later.